hello guys welcome to solving solutions on the channel where i get solutions to all your solving problems it's nine seven in class again today how have you been on today's tutorial we are going to use um rgs pro to calculate ndwi right so um ndwi is um, a remote sensing technique that measures the moisture content of vegetation from space now we have used qgis to carry out this process and then the link to that video will be on the description section and then the link to assessing this same um, guide will also be on the description section right good so the first process is for us to the first step rather is for us to highlight the water body and then to highlight the water body we are going to use what this um, ndwi formula which is in um, band 3 minus band 5 divided by band 3 plus band 5 right good so to achieve this we are going to use the raster calculator so we come back to our arcgis pro we search for raster calculator let's use a special analyst tool and then i would rather float then for the processing to start we use what float right good so we have them um, three minus five divided by we float again three plus five right good so we have actually written the expression which we would use to what extract the or highlight the water bodies that we have on our on our imagery so the output um, raster we can browse to uh, to get a preferred location good so we've navigated to the folder where we want to save the data so we call this um ndwi right good so we click on save and then we run okay let's look so we have our ndwi that now highlights what the water body and you can see from the imagery or the product here that the water body is um, highlighted in a bluish color right good you can still work on the symbology directly from here however that's not the climax of today's tutorial good so we can change the symbology from here to a different one just to show you the highlighted water bodies right good so let's use blue for this so that um, we can easily show what the water bodies right good so the bluish region indicates what the water body however this is not how we want to um highlight or extract the water body right good so let's go back to our black and white now i haven't established this fact from the guide here we are now going to start the extraction process and then we are going to use the thresholding method which we are also going to achieve using what the raster calculator right good so in the thresholding method we want to classify the pixels as either water or non-water based on what their ndwi values right good water body or non-water body based on the ndwi value right good so we are going to assign zero and one so we are going to write a conditional statement to assign the value of one to pixels with um, ndwi values above the threshold and value of zero to pixels below the threshold right good so let's see how that happens on the what on the raster calculator so we still come back to the raster calculator still float it we are going to delete this first expression now we are going to load our ndwi in a bracket so when it is um, greater than zero we multiply by one right good so we are assigning what this value as we have written as we have read from what the guide right so we browse so we still have what ndwi let's call this ndwi2 or threshold right good so we click on save okay cannot contain more than um, 
13 characters right good so let's see if we can reduce it okay so we have it as this right good so let's run good so the tool has been run successfully and then we can dock back now there's something you need to pay attention to for you to assign this um, raster value of zero and one to your ngwi you need to move it back to the black and white right good it's actually very important because if you had used any other symbology method to have done it you would encounter some challenges so we now have what the threshold values you now see the values are zeros and ones right good so the zeros are the non-water bodies and then the ones are the water bodies and they are rightly represented by blue so in case the color you don't like it you can always what change it right good so you just come here and then you select your preferred color similarly this i would use them um, i would like to use red so that we can have them um, good so we now have the red representing the non-water bodies and then the blue representing the water bodies right good so we have highlighted them and then we have also extracted them right good so if we come back to our guide we are actually in this process now we want to um, extract the water bodies automatically remember what we have here is a raster so we are going to convert um, this raster to a vector that will now um, have the zeros and ones that will represent the water bodies and the non-water bodies which we are now going to select what your water bodies from what the vector right good so coming back to the guide and still coming back to ArcGIS Pro we are going to convert the raster to what to polygon so we come back to geoprocessing search for raster to polygon good so the impute raster would be the ngwi threshold and then um, the output and um, polygon fissure we browse good so we call this um extracted right so if all the parameters are okay we run good so the tool has been run successfully and then we have what a vector which we can assess the attribute table good upon loading the attribute table we have um, different fields fid shape id and then the grid code now the grid code represents what those um zeros and ones that we have actually what assigned to our raster earlier so you can see we have zeros and ones so we can now create a simple um, expression that um, will help us to select all those values that are one or zero depending on what we want to achieve so if we come up here we are going to see that um having converted the raster to polygon we can now select the water polygons right good so manually or we use what the query to select the polygons where the pixel value is one right good so if we want to select polygons where the pixel value is one which in this case it's been called the grid code we click on select by attributes then we are we are trying to build what the expression we are going to use so let's say where grid code is equal to one right good so if we see the sql version we are going to have something like this it's actually what a valid expression which means there is no error right good so we just come back to how it was then we click on apply okay so you see now that um, all the water bodies have been what have been selected from the extracted what vector data right good so i've only um, selected that it is showing all records and then you can see about it's over 8600 we are selected out of um over 9200 right good so as it has been selected you can decide to right click 
data export features so you can decide to what um, export it to a different location where perhaps you want it to be right good so we can clear the selection if we want to and then we have what our raster we have the vector the way it is so thanks for coming to class we have shown you how to use them um, actually pro to calculate what the NDWI and then we did the thresholding and finally we what we extracted the water bodies based on what the grid code or based on the pixel number that um, we have assigned to it as one and then for the non water bodies to be zero so thanks for coming to class we hope we have um, provided solution to this um, particular GIS or remote sensing problem we are going to see you on the next tutorial ensure you keep staying safe and have a very good time bye